I've got to get something off my chest, son. It's been burning me in the inside, and it's just been eking its way up, and it's up, and it's just getting worse and worse as the season goes on. I apologise for not getting out sooner, but by God, I wish we could play Hearts every week. Glorious! No, I will give in, I will give in till I'm victorious! Hello, everyone, this is CJ Novo992, and today we are back for another brand new video. Today's video we're here to discuss Rangers versus Hearts which if you've been paying attention is usually a good day on the channel and that just continues but before we get there just a friendly reminder make sure you're hitting that subscribe button it's free doesn't cost you anything and it helps the channel on our way towards 55k. <laughs> but Ryan Jack scored ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's get to the actual game then shall we? 3, 2, one. Part zero, Rangers three. Now that was the final score. And to be honest, we gone into this game of football. There was a lot of questions about Rangers Football Club, about these players. A lot of questions arising where their mentality was. Did they think the season was done? Were they going to play and just lose all that, like the built up frustration after the old firm loss? Were they going to lose that edge that they had versus Hearts in the three 0 win, and obviously the three 0 win versus Motherwell? Thankfully, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I sit here after a two week spell because we were only playing last week. And I'm proud to be able to tell you guys that the intensity is still there, the willingness to play for the badge is still there, and every single one of the players is fighting for the Rangers' futures. You saw that all over the park, each to the man. It didn't look like the season was over, there's no pressure, no, 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 no. Everyone was fighting for each other, and it was a true team performance, if I'm being 100% honest with you. We're obviously going to pick out a couple of players here and there and discuss, but everyone to a man played up to the standards of a Rangers player, in my personal opinion. And the first player we're actually going to speak about before we even break down any of the goals is going to be someone whose career looked dead and buried just four, four games ago. That is none other than John Flanagan. The man is just putting performance after performance after performance, showing that he wants to be here. You hear Gerard every single time in a press conference asking the players, do you want to be here? Show it to me when I give you a chance. In the last three games, I think he's been absolutely brilliant. He's shit house today. The willingness just to get stuck in. Yes, he's not as technically gifted as BB's, but it looks like he's a lot tougher and can get stuck in a lot more than maybe a BB can actually do for the Glasgow Rangers. And again, I know I say that in the Motherwell game and the last Hearts game, but it just scares wingers. They just get stuck in within the first couple of minutes. The first time that winger has the ball at his feet, he comes flying in, gets stuck in cleanly, winning the ball, but leaving a lot on the man as well, and just asking the question, do you want to really come at me again? And truthfully, it's just great to see that he's been given one last chance to play for the Glasgow Rangers, and he's just took the chance. And for me, he has to start again next week. You kind of drop people that's on form right now. The jersey at the left back position belongs to John Flanagan. Something I never thought I'd ever say again, especially after that County Beef game but he's took his mental hits and he's rebounded the Rangers way. But let's actually move on to the game then and start talking about the recap of the goals. The first goal again came from guess who? None other than Mr. Glenn Kamara who is honestly just brilliant. I'm running out of things to say. It's, I'm actually getting annoyed because I just have to talk him up so much that I'm repeating myself week in and week out but genuinely this guy is truly special with the ball, whether it's rolling a man across the side just to hold the ball, or it's just dropping the shoulder and spinning by someone, or even if it's getting stuck in shoulder to shoulder and pushing up boys, it looks a lot bigger than him. He can just do everything. And I think the best way to sum up Glenn Kamara, he just makes football look so easy. And he showed his class on the ball as well, getting the assist for the first goal of the game. Just a beautiful through ball right into Jermaine Defoe, who worked the centre back and I believe the right back of Hearts perfectly, getting him to open up space. He dove in and it was just a comfortable finish from Jermaine Defoe showing once again you start the man, he's either getting assists or scoring goals himself. He's averaging a goal every 89 minutes in Scottish football right now, which is the best in the league. Now you already know what's going to come next in today's video. You can already see the question coming, but it needs to be asked. Now that Jermaine Defoe has been given his three chances to prove himself, he sits at two goals two other goals incorrectly ruled for offside by the way but also two assists when he was given a chance when Morelos was suspended now that Morelos isn't suspended anymore and he's back next week who do you start up front let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below there's going to be so much discussion and I genuinely want to see it Jermaine Defoe Alfredo Morelos who you got and why. So moving away from the question of today's episode, let's break down the second goal of the game because it came from Daniel Kindeas finally turning in a bit of quality because I think out of everyone the first 10-50 minutes, he still looked a little bit off, but as soon as he got that moment of quality getting that assist, I think you saw the real Daniel Kindeas for the rest of the game. The second goal, by the way, was scored by none other 
than Ryan frickin' Jack. Just a late run inside the box. He gets the ball beautifully delivered by Daniel Kandias. He takes a touch, looks at the goalkeeper and just, just slips it by him like a cultured striker. Is there anything better than a Ryan Jack goal? Honestly, I don't think so. Probably two Ryan Jack goals. And that is actually how it ended in the first half. 2-0, very comfortable for the Glasgow Rangers. Hearts had a couple of half chances, but nothing too severe. But they did actually start the second half a lot stronger. They were getting the balls in the box, getting bodies forward. But it was actually us who scored first in the second half. Now, this is where the, the, <laughs> the controversy is going to be kicking in because the ball was moving for the actual corner. You see it, Davis tries a few times to actually get the ball to stop because it's slightly on a slope. Just at the corner, it keeps moving and moving. So it goes and moves it one last time. And just before it stops, he actually passes directly to Daniel Kandias. It's, it's honestly rolling like this. See that? Did you see it? I'll do it one more time. That's how much it rolled, by the way. Conspiracies are all over the place about that. But anyway, he passes it into Daniel Kandias. And because he's got that confidence of the first assist, he whips a wonderful cross. And I truly mean a wonderful cross right into the back post. Katic reads it, gambles, gets there and smashes it into the back of the net. And that's a goal for the Croatian prince himself. Now, very, very briefly on Nikola Katic, not only did it get a goal, but I thought he kind of strolled it at the centre-back position by the one goal that they obviously scored. It was a clean sheet away from a perfect performance, in my personal opinion. And I don't think the goal's even his fault. It's just a wonderful cross by Hearts. It's a good run in. They gambled enough bodies in and they scored a good goal. Nikola Katic saw throughout the rest of the game because he was up against a very, very physical striker. He was strong, he was authoritative and he just got his head on absolutely everything. And it wasn't like safe headers. He, he, he got stuck into absolutely everything. He threw his body on the line for the badge and for me, it certainly showed. And I really just kind of describe how impressed I have been about all these boys who's been out in the cold, who's been thrown in the last three games and who have just took their chances. You look at it, right? You've got Nikola Katic who we've spoken about. Jermaine Defoe we've spoken about at length. You look at John Flanagan we've already discussed in today's video. But the fourth player in this little mixture who's been given a chance the last couple of games who I think's went kind of under radar in this game was Stephen Davis. Once again, for the third game in a row, I think he was absolutely brilliant. Did he misplace one single pass? Because I can't even think of anything. And he mopped up a lot defensively. Yes, he's not getting forward like he used to, but that's not his role anymore. It's the deep line playmaker role, just sweeping up and just pinging passes left right and centre. And you take all those four performances and all you're doing is giving Steven Gerrard a bigger headache for next week when his so-called best players are coming back. He's got a headache who he actually drops and that's what you need to be a strong competitive team in the league. You don't need a strong 11. You need a strong 14, 15 boys that's fighting for every single spot over the field. That's how we were successful in the past and that's how we'll be successful in the future. We need boys that's willing to roll up their sleeves and get going when things aren't going right. Now we've already spoken about the Hearts goal which was well taken by McLean. Yes, he maybe done that I don't know if it was towards the Hearts fans or the Rangers fans but it was a good goal anyway and if I'm honest with you Hearts gave it a good goal you're going to hear some things saying oh Hearts always lied down to Rangers all this BS but if you actually watch the game McGregor makes two or three very good saves Hearts really pushed in that second half and really showed up in the second half got bodies in the box Berra just seems to get in the end of everything full Hearts in the second half showed they've got enough quality to be all right and hopefully they're all right in a cup final and that's me all done and dusted with today's fan recap. There was a couple other chances late on with a good move from Polster who started off passing it out wide and it gets whipped into uh, Scotty Arfield inside the box, forcing a very good save by the Hearts goalkeeper. He had Glenn Middleton put through on goal, but it was a kind of tough chance. He tried to chip the goalie. Again, it was another very good save. But another strong performance from the Glasgow Rangers. Everyone stepping up, a whisker away from another clean sheet. And that is how we're going to end today's video, at least on my part. What did you think of the game? If you haven't got your thoughts and opinions out there, let me know down in the comments section below. It's time for a little refreshment before we jump over to Twitter because by God is it hot. So grab your refreshments, grab whatever juice you've got in front of you and let's toast the boys after that fantastic performance. 3, 2, 1. Sports break. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. CJ, where's the lid? I've lost it. <laughs> I have. So now it's time for the people's opinion. There's 755 votes. I'll rate that number nicely when I'm reading this out. 4% votes for Other. 19% votes for Jermaine Defoe. 33% votes for Katic. But the far and away winner with 44% of the people's vote is Glenn Kamara. Moving on to the first comment we're going to read out comes from Register5. He says De Defo Kamara. Nice. Ali Moore writes in Katic for me he's a fantastic footballer. For me he was very solid and it was much deserved. Peter Ramsey says Kandias for me he gives all for his team and he got two assists. 
as well. Stuart writes in, Carthage for me, the big man was solid, he won everything, great performance all around. Stevie Brown, shout out to Andy as well, he says, fought Big Nico, uh, was great at the back, but we, Glenn Kamara, was outstanding in the middle, so had to give it to him. Robbie writes in, Carthage for me, the big man got stuck in for about 94 minutes and obviously got on the score sheet. The full team played well, Kamara, Flanagan, Jack and Davis in particular. Yeah, we've not even spoke about Ryan Jack and if I'm honest with you, I thought he got forward a lot more, he was willing to take a shot. You can clearly see he's trying to develop more getting forward and it's working, his goal was just absolutely brilliant. So I didn't talk about him in depth in today's video, but him and Arfield, they were honestly brilliant, the whole team. Actually play Brian, if I'm honest with you. Chris Morrison writes in, Katic won everything in the air, put his body in the line and got a goal. A clean sheet away from the perfect performance. Chris Morrison, we're in here, buddy. It's locked up in there. The last two or three that will actually out comes from... Bang! We'll stop it right there. It comes from Andy D, writes, The entire Harps team, they were pathetic. Rangers defence was a worry. Turned far too easily in the second half and goals in is too flat-footed. Hate to say it, but if Warrell was in for Katic, we wouldn't have conceded, but I guess he also scored. No, 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 we're not ending with a Debbie Downer. No chance. One more time. Bang, bang, there's your auntie. And it comes from James Alexander, and he says, Ryan Jack all day long. That's better. I've been CJ Novo 92. You've heard from the people. You've heard from myself. If you haven't done so already, get your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. As always, there'll be a charity link down in the description. June the 8th versus Falkirk Foundation coaches all in aid of Sam H. Charity. So if you'd like to buy your tickets, the links for that is down in the description alongside the Patreon links as always. Thank you so much for the support, especially during the YouTube Apocalypse 3.0. I've been CJ Novo 92. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.